Hi, I'm Becca, assistant editor with the Good Housekeeping food team. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm the senior testing editor in the Kitchen Appliance Lab. Hi, I'm Kate, I'm the food director at Good Housekeeping. Hi, I'm Kathy, I'm food editor at Good Housekeeping Test Kitchen. We are going to be re reacting to some TikTok food hacks. This is a college hack, it looks like. Ugh. It's like a French toast situation. It, why, why is it gross already? I don't like it. Oh. oh. Whoa. Not French toast at all. <laughs> I mean, I sort of feel like this is sort of fun. It's kind of, I mean, I don't necessarily, I feel like I need a bunch of wet naps for afterward, but egg and cheese sandwich. I'm fine with the it. The thin egg is what I'm getting I don't after. like the, that flip, the bread flip. It looks like a nonstick pan, and that's what they're starting with. Yeah. And then they do but, the egg. And it's a pretty low temperature because the egg's not cooking right away. Why do you need to flip the bread? Oh, I don't think you need to flip the bread. Maybe we should test Can it out. Can we do it where we just don't flip the bread? I want to try it. That actually looks pretty tasty. Goodness. I feel like if I were to do this, I now agree with you, I would ditch a step. <clears throat> But either way, the fact that I get my whole Sammy. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna do it. We are about to <clears throat> make a, I'd like, I'd like to hope it's sort of a better version of the French toast, that's the part we're taking out. Egg sandwich in a skillet, all in. Yeah. This is when I wish I knew how to um, crack an egg with one hand. Nobody watched that. We're gonna go a little butter. The original hack was to coat the bread in the egg before flipping it over, which we are not gonna do. Mm -mm. Pop your egg in. Okay. So at this point, whoever originally did the hack coated the bread in the egg, which we are not gonna do. You know what I was thinking about? How did you know when to put that in? I didn't. What was I was that? thinking about is whether or not I had, which way I had to do this. Yeah, I but think you're right. Like, that. like there's all of this stuff, like this stuff won't get cooked. Right. So. But it stays on in the hack. No, I know, that's why we're gonna leave it. Like we have to actually wait for it to get cooked. Right, it's Maybe gonna I'll, take a while. Like Ooh. really what I want is I wanna be able to flip it up in the air. Do you think I should go this way or I should go up and over? You are Side, the chef. Up and over. I've got my lifeline back there, my support. I turned it so it would go now this side. Everybody ready? Can I yeah. get a one, two, three count? A one. Count me down. No, down oh. like we're a rocket ship. Oh. Well, you said a one, two, three okay. count. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Three, two, one. Ooh! Holler. And our egg is cooked. I'm so, so impressed. We're gonna go, I like to Look at all the this crispy, crispy bacon. bacon. So now it's about the cheese melt. Yeah, that's like the key for me in an egg sandwich. Melty, well, melty what I cheese. think is that our ears are going to help they then melt. Fold. No, I know, but I think it's going to help melt the cheese. Just for future, let's get a better um, whisk situation. See the whites? This is a learning moment, always. I love that every moment Shit. is a teaching moment. Now I want my bread to be toasty. I know. I, I Because I was getting a little bit anxious about actually flipping, mm -hmm. I misjudged our... So now we do a grilled cheese situation. Yeah, I think I'll let that go. All right, let's see our, we've got, we've got sort of golden brown. It's not totally toasty. I think we could still perfect it, but we're looking pretty good. I think our cheese is melting. I'm I come back. think yeah. when Look. I'm in need of a breakfast sandwich, yeah. I don't want to wait this long. Well, I, I put I, my toast in the toaster and then I think had whoa, look That's at that golden though. brown. So I think that the next time I would adjust the temp and we would it would not be as long. Mm -hmm. It would be a seamless flip. We I make wouldn't feel every day now. Oh, look at that. Oh. I think this that we might Sargento is one of those cheeses that may give us a pull. We're gonna try it. Did you get it? This looks delicious. Cheers. I already put it in I already bite and then it. took it out. <laughs> Kathy, I already bite it. <laughs> Bit of. Mm. There's nothing bad about this. It's delicious. 
a little seasoning. I didn't salt or pepper it. I'm gonna blame it on the egg lady. <laughs> It's a bacon, egg, and cheese. I would not put the effort in to do this. I think I could take the time down. We'll speed challenge you. See how fast you can do it. I need to do it against somebody. <laughs> On to the next Over one. and out. Okay, cutting the box open. This already looks like too much work for me. It's about to be your worst nightmare. Um, okay. Oh. No, uh -oh. <laughs> unless you're feeding a family with that box of Lucky Charms all at the same time. And an entire half gallon of milk. I'm gonna tell you why it's my worst nightmare. Not because I'm putting milk inside a cereal box, but because to eat an entire box of cereal, it would get soggy by the end. Not to mention that to mm -hmm. just put an empty milk carton back in the fridge, which is disrespectful, seriously. I would say that there's about 10 servings in one of those large containers yeah. of cereal. That is a lot of sugar going into that person right that now. That is what's worrying All me the, the same most. Time. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're in a bind, just wash it. It works. Bowl. It's kind of like those little um, cereal boxes that you get, the individual could, yeah. cereal boxes. I could see it more with that than a giant family size yeah. box. They used to. They used to have used to be like they'd have like perforations here and here and then in the, down the middle mm -hmm. and then you open, open them up it. that way and, and then um like a you remember them. yeah like a bowl yeah it's the cutest little waffle maker ever oh, waffle precious cinnamon roll waffles yeah i wonder how long they are cooking it for i've seen this before <laughs> you um, say it with such a disdain <laughs> i'm into it it's just like Danny Austin's not doing anything new. I, I would cook it a little longer, but yeah. it looks like it's doable. Mm. I think I probably would use a smaller one too, just so it gets super crispy. I'd worry about the inside a little bit for the goo factor. I mean, I but love a gooey cinnamon roll. I know, but mm, there's you a- like pull it apart and you get that. I'm not, I'm talking about, sorry, I should have said raw center factor <laughs> okay. versus gooey center factor. I uh, they're always pretty raw. I like that drizzle at the end. My goodness. I think it comes with the pack, like inside. It does, yeah. Okay. It's filthy and so good. We should probably try this one, I think. I agree. It looks good. We are going to see if we can make a waffle out of cinnamon rolls. All right, so on the video, here, you want to grab it? Sure. All right, so let's just put it in there and see what happens. Yeah, let's try Push one it. and see how that goes. Squish it all the way, probably, right? Yeah, I would squish it all the way down. And maybe it we would have been able. It smells pretty good. I have a plate. All right, let's try. And it. I have tongs, just in case, oh, so I that we don't have tongs. to. Oh, look at that. So it's stuck to the top, which still looks good. It looks cooked. It looks pretty good. It looks well, like. It looks like it could be soggy, but I guess we'll see, right? Not too bad. Get into the nooks and crannies. <laughs> it's good. Is it? Is it cooked all the way through? Cooked all the way through. Hmm. I'm kind of impressed. Yeah. I mean, but how hard it is it is it to make cinnamon rolls? But I guess you don't have to heat up the oven. All you have to do is it you have a, point. a minute or two. And you might be able to do four at a time, actually. It is faster. It is much faster. That took, what, 20 seconds? Yeah. yeah. It was not long at all. I like so, it. Yeah. Go back for another bite. So it says, today we used our bus heater to cook Nutella wraps. Let me tell you about the school bus heater. There is a prime spot on the school bus. It wasn't underneath the seat, but it's like in underneath the seat in front of you. Yeah, there's like debris in that seat. But if you got that seat on the school bus, it was prime. And if you were then bringing Nutella wraps onto the school bus, you'd be the real winner. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Look how disgusting that There's is so many bad on so many here. levels. He's like, here's my Nutella What wrap. do you think this kid's parents thought about the fr the missing frying pan? Well, I, I, I think it's less about that and more about our bus driver yelled at us and we didn't give him any. <laughs> Cutting in uh, in the pan. I'd be pissed if he brought me home the pan and I had it was all scratched up. Fair enough. You're not like a regular parent. You're a cool parent though. 
<laughs> paper plate, look at all those paper plates. Cut that shit on a paper plate. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's things living on the heater and it oh. looks really dangerous. Oh, and then you put the seat back down over it? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Definitely not. Let's not do that, don't do that. And okay. listen to your bus driver. Mine's name was Neil. <laughs> so breakfast burrito hack. Oh, we got more eggs. Oh. oh, I like this. That looks really smart. And really easy. Okay, so I've sort of done this before, but with, with cheese, cheese, just like scoop the whole thing out. This is gonna work. Uh, what I really like about this one is that you don't coat both sides of the tortilla and egg. I could totally see doing that. I like that a lot also. I'm into it. Oh. I think I'd make that for breakfast for myself, actually. It's actually making me kind of hungry. <laughs> That's awesome. No kidding. <laughs> I've eaten breakfast and lunch and I'm hungry. That's my girl. <laughs> We are Making about. A breakfast burrito. Yeah, we're gonna make a breakfast burrito. I'm gonna try it my best. You're gonna be great. These eggs. We're just gonna go butter so we don't, because that's what I feel like Becca wants. Always. It's like, why can't I crack an egg? Becca makes the best scrambled eggs I have ever tasted. Thank you. Ever thank you. in my entire life. I've had a lot of scrambled eggs in a lot of places. It's gonna make me cry. I sure am gonna season oh, here, these I got eggs. You. It's key to season your eggs. I don't want pepper in them though. Right. Get her. Ready? So we're gonna let these go. Yeah. They're supposed to go until they're kind of set. I'm gonna say. I feel like that's correct. <clears throat> it's gonna be hard for me not to wanna touch them, not gonna lie. I know. I also, like, I kind of want to flip this over, just so the other side Well, then, then you, we would need to use the egg, or the cheese to make it stick. Oh, because you're saying... I'm that saying that that will cook onto the tortilla, and then they'll... That doesn't give you the heebie-jeebies at all? That's what we just did for the bread. True. We're just gonna do it. Okay. Doesn't give me the heebies. Then it's gonna get flipped. Then it gets then flipped, we're gonna then you cheese. put the cheese in. We're gonna spatula this, because I just... <laughs> Hold it. Tap, tap, tap. Cheese me. Can I Becca cheese it? Becca cheese it. We, uh -huh. go ahead, yeah. We had a gal on our team who that's like a Trish cheese. Yeah, she, whenever she would make pizza, there was so much cheese that it actually couldn't get completely cooked. So we're also gonna do some bacon in here. Mm -hmm. I think I, you know, are the gal chatting my ear. Her name's Lauren. <laughs> she suggested that we put the cheese in between the egg and the tortilla. And based on the lack of meltability here, I wish that we had listened. We could do this again. We could update this. I think this. so, the fold. The fold's gonna do it. I also am not sure that I want my avocado warm. It's gonna be hot avocado. Yeah, we can't do that. Okay. Avocado has to go on top. Like a toasty sandwich. We could make a little spread. So yeah. TikTok was just bacon, egg, and cheese. We're we're um, going to a fiesta type of place. Oh my god. This is a breakfast We're adding fiesta. some cilantro. And some tapatio or Cholula. What's your hot sauce? Uh, right now it's sriracha. Mm. But I don't want that in this. No. Mm -mm. What? Yeah. Not close it? We can't even get the thing closed. It's gonna I be like a like giant a... taco. Break in the bacon. Break I guess I could have, I think. Ooh, yep. Just singed one little bit of my. Yeah. Wait. It's more like a quesadilla. Yeah. I think we over, I overcooked it. That's what happened. I'm pretty sure. This guy's overcooked. It's all about the egg, because I can't have squishy egg and, but our cheese is melted. Come on, buddy. Fold, fold, fold. There you go. All right. So really there's yeah. just, but wait, what we'll do. We've got serious cheese melting. Like that would 
completely burn your crop if you were eating this in the car. The other thing about a burrito is they usually like flip up the end so all the yeah, business stays in there. Fall out. So we're gonna have gooey gooey cheese at the bottom of that piece of foil. Wait, we gotta get the hot sauce. Hold on, hold on. Keep that right there. Because oh. I was listening. I didn't really, I, <laughs> I did say I didn't want sriracha in this. <laughs> uh, right now it's sriracha, but I don't want that in this. No. Like I'd prefer Cholula, but thank you. What say you? I prefer this. Sriracha. Oh, to the sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be. Gonna eat this. Good. Keep eating it. She's gonna I keep eating it. I don't know why I'm so hungry today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Good Housekeeping. And comment down below what you think about these hacks. Or Becca's sweater. Bye, TikTok.